going on, Unfazed Crew? Here I am standing awkwardly in the drive-thru of a Blake's Lotta Burger. Now I am very excited because I haven't been to one of these in over 10 years. Uh, Blake's Lotta Burger originated in uh, Albuquerque, New Mexico, and there's locations now in Arizona, in Tucson, which is where we're at right now, and uh, obviously also in Texas. So we're gonna go inside and enjoy some of this deliciousness. This is what it's all about. had one of these in over a decade. I'm pretty excited. Chocolate shake. Mmm. Thank you. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. It's pretty darn good. Mmm. Delicious. So this is what we're dealing with. Oh my gosh, look at that. I got a New Mexico style with the hatch green chili. Oh my gosh. Look at that delicious lot of burger. Oh, and look at these fries. Chili cheese fries. Heartburn waiting to happen. I love it. And I got the seasoned fries. That I did, that I did. Delicious. Looks very good. Very excited. Good stuff. Why are you so cool? All right, so I'm very excited to take my first bite of a delicious, juicy Blake's Lotta Burger here in Tucson. I'm gonna add a little bit of ketchup to it. I do like these squeeze packets of ketchup, they're nice. Good for fake blood gushes, you know? It's true. Looks very good. Looks very high quality. Oh, Dig it. Nom noms. All right, let's do it. Like I said, I haven't tasted one of these bad boys mm. in over ten years. Pretty good. Mmm. Oh yeah. Reminds me of like In and Out almost. Mm -hmm. But a little fresher, I think. It's like a hybrid of like Whataburger and a little bit of elements of In and Out. Yeah. Mm. Very tasty, very delicious. Very good. You can see the juices. The juice is oozing. Oh my gosh. I love the oozing juices. This is so good. Mm. The green chili really enhances it. Yeah. It's dripping with deliciousness. <laughs> yeah, they have a bunch of these in New Mexico. And the first one I ever went to was an old school one. I think in Albuquerque when I was a kid. My earliest recollection of Blake's was when I was probably like... I want to say, like, maybe like 10, somewhere in that ballpark. And I always had a fascination with them. And some locations are better than others. I remember being on road trips as a teenager and going to some in New Mexico that were better than others, kind of hit and miss. But overall, if you find a good one, totally worth it, man. And if you guys are in Texas, New Mexico, or Tucson, you can check this place out. Or one of the many. I had no idea they existed before Ben. Do you know how long this one's been here for? It seems fairly new. I think it's pretty new. Yeah. I think within the last year. Mm. It's very hearty. I was telling him about when the first Raising Canes opened up here. It was like a huge event. It took like, it was like a 30 minute wait. Um, but I feel like this one, because it's not from the area, people not, might not even know about it. It might be kind of under the radar. So mm -hmm. if you're here, it's good. There's like no one here right now. There's like one other group of people here. Mm -hmm. That's it. So, if you know, you know. Yeah. I know the cast of Breaking Bad appreciates it. <laughs> I think I heard Aaron Paul in an interview talk about it. He said really? the crew would always eat a lot of burger. It's cool. It's like a New Mexico staple. Yeah. I'm glad to see it expanding. Very much like Whataburger. Yeah. Making a mess and I don't care. Whataburger and In-N-Out are both so popular. Yeah. In like Scottsdale. But I can't recall any being down here. And so this is a good fit for the area. Mm hmm Because that sort of thing. It's unique. Yeah. There used to be a place called Rallies. There's probably still some around. You guys know what I'm talking about. They just grew near my house as a kid. It was very similar to that. Damn. Yeah, help yourself. Help yourself, man. I got a ton. 
I was, not, I was not expecting that many children. Yeah, me neither. <laughs> Just a vat it's like of a cheese pool and chili. chili right there. I'm gonna go swimming in it. <laughs> It was pretty good, we didn't eat very much today. No. So we're making up for it by having 5,000 calories <laughs> with our dinner. Mm. This was literally like a 1,090 calorie drink. Makes yeah. sense. Between that and the shake, soda. We're cracking it in. Yeah, we're really working on dying. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Mm. It was like a book, Working on Dying, by Unfazed Review. <laughs> mm, yeah. Looks like they have some chicken sandwiches too, looks pretty good. Yeah, I almost went for the chicken, but... The chicken sandwich wars! It was just like the staple, I think it's a... Uh, it's called the New Mexico style lava burger, so it's like the yeah. most thematic, you know? You had to go for it, the green yeah. chili double. Yeah. If I had these around me all the time, I would try everything on the menu. Yeah. <laughs> But since it's kind of a rarity, I figured, man, I gotta go for the traditional. I gotta go for the one I grew up enjoying. You know? Yeah. Oh, very good. I'm glad it's a good one. Mm. Red Devil and Blake's in the same day. Technically. 24 hours, yeah. Technically, yeah. Mm. You sure are back fucks. I love it. <laughs> mm. Our next episode, salad and a glass of water. <laughs> we should do um that salad to go place I've been going to. Yeah. It'd be an interesting change of pace for us. I would do that. And I'll get a kale smoothie. <laughs> mm. That's gross. Yeah, it is. Mm. Damn, you scuffed that down. Demolish that monkey. So good. Mm -hmm. Good sustainable packaging. Yep. They're very sleek looking Pepsi soda machines. Mm -hmm. But um they're out of order, it looks like. Looks like I'm gonna do an ATM withdrawal. From yeah. <laughs> I'm just gonna squirt Pepsi all over my face. <laughs> Pepsi Bukaki. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> I'll grab an extra fork so you can have some of this uh, cheesy deliciousness. Oh man. Oh, that's so freaking good. Mm. Oh man, my stomach's gonna hate me later, but boy. So good, man. When you're a few stops on the way back. Mm -hmm. You guys can find us in your trail of diarrhea down the highway. It's not um not overly flavorful, but it's just like my my big thing about fast food is like finding stuff of quality and this is like the meat and the cheese and everything's pretty high quality. I'm the Vegetables seem fresh. So it's not like, you know, some people have their kitschy thing, like Cane's has its famous sauce, and like Cane's without the sauce is pretty bad. You know, I love Cane's, but like you need the sauce. But this is just like a good quality burger, and that's all it needs to be. All right. Here you go, sir. Thank you. Let's dive in on some of this delicious chili cheese fries. Oh, man. Oh, my God. This is heartburn and diarrhea city, but I'm, I'm in heaven. There, there's a... It's like a higher ratio of beans than in the usual chili cheese fries, and you actually see like the beans, mm -hmm. which is kind of nice. Got some spice to it, a little bit oh, of spice yeah? to the chili. Not, not insane, but uh, pretty good. Mm. Oh, the Cajun fries. Good. Not They're not spicy at all, really. No, They're good. Not much Cajun food around, is there? No. No, it should be. I like uh, jambalaya. Jambalaya was good. The Five Guys Cajun fries were really good. Mm. I remember those being great. Mm. Yeah. I'll tell you right now, I'm not going to finish this. Is it enjoyable? It's full. It's really good. It's full. Yeah, a moment. <laughs> okay. I feel like New Mexico, there's a lot of like hidden gems there in terms of food. Yeah. And blue mountains. Have you ever been to New Mexico? You drove through it, right? Yeah. Spooky. Pretty, but yeah, I didn't like see anything. Yeah. Mountains and grass and shit. One day, 
Yeah. It is underappreciated we'll, we'll as a state, it. I think. Yeah. The land of enchantment. Yeah. I would love to do the Breaking Bad tour. Mm-hmm. I would just do self guided and vlog it for you guys. Go to Walter White's house, go to the car wash. Yeah. Go to Los Pueblos Hermanos. I think it's actually called the Twisters over there. Is oh, really? There? Yeah. Oh, was it based off a real one called Christmas? Yeah. They just switched it up for the, for the show. Mm. Oh, my God, so good. That was good. What's crazy is you lived near this and didn't know it existed. Yeah. I don't know how long it's been open, though. It might, it might be under a year still. So. It looks super new and clean. It does look very, very modern. Nope, no plastic in this one. <laughs> Knock on wood. Ben has this... Unlucky fate of always finding pieces of like plastic, kind of like a bag or something. Yeah, in all your or food. like a hard piece of plastic. Yeah. And pizza we had the other night. And when you were a kid, didn't you get like a screw in your cereal? I had a metallic ball from a post from Honeycomb. It was like a freaking ball oh, honeycomb. that came off. And I was in, literally, and I was like, oh, a prize. Like, oh wait, <laughs> oh a prize. Well, hopefully that luck will change, right? Yeah. Mm. If we will it, it will go away. <laughs> well, yeah, no plastic so far. No more plastic, no more obstructions. Mm. I think I'm also very observant, too. Imagine how many people eat that stuff and don't notice. You're probably right now. Yeah. I'm just very analytical with my food, you know? Mm. The worst is a hair, though. That's yeah, gross, yeah. And you gotta, like, if it gets too far down, you can, like, oh. you know. <laughs> oh. Adds to the flavor, right? Uh, yep. Yeah, that's the, the very worst. Today's been pretty cool. We've actually packed in a lot. I'm not sure exactly in what order this video will come out, but we did the domes today. Mm-hmm. We did an abandoned mall. And here we are having some treats. Yeah. This so is good. Pretty productive, especially considering we slept in, too. Yeah. It was all more or less a straight shot downward. Yeah. And we just got to go back. Mm-hmm. Oh my gosh, yeah, I think I'm, I think I might be wrapping up here, guys. It's so oh, good. Oh. It's so tasty, like, I don't want to waste it, you know? It's, it's extremely, the burger is, like, huge. The burger is amazing. This is the only fast food place I can think of where the, um, like, the, the entree, the main part, is really, like, almost more than enough on its own. Yeah. Like, you really don't need the fries, you really don't need the anything else. Hey, you come in and have that, and if you let it sit... Maybe, yeah. maybe the drink. Keep me fine. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Yeah, they did go heavy duty on the beans in this. Yeah. Beans, beans, magical oh, fruit. Yeah. The more you eat, the more you eat. Oh. Mm. Mm. So good. Mm. Muy delicioso. Muy, muy. Mm. Okay, if you're ever in New Mexico, Tucson, or Texas, Keep an eye out for Blake's lot of bird. Five out of five for me. And that's a lot of, with an L, like a lot of bird, not lot of bird. Yeah, hello. Yeah. That's confusing, yeah. Mm. All right. Anything else? I think that's it. The dark pepper's very good. Tasty. It's very good and bubbly, yeah. The shake is thick and rich and delicious. Oh. All right, guys. Good stuff. Like, subscribe, and remain unfazed. <laughs>